So the fifth victory for the season for Richmond, and as I say, thoroughly deserved. Well, out at Prince's Park this afternoon, it was Carlton against St Kilda. Here's Bruce McAvaney. No such a highlights out here as far as a close finish, Dennis. An easy win for Carlton in the end by 80 points. They've won four in a row. Stephen Kernahan kicked three goals in the final term. In fact, the Blues kicked ten of the last 11 goals. At one stage in the third term, the Saints were in with a shot. They got within 22 points, but Carlton sailed away to win 22-13 to 10-5. Let's have a look at the highlights from the second half. Now Widmar, Harvey running for him. Back to Shaw, inside 50, long kick, good kick. It's a chance, oh. goal! It's a goal! And Anderson hooks it back to full forward. Chris Stu and O'Brien, Wakeland, Chris Stu. Back to Harvey, usually does something constructive. Oh. Good kick by Harvey. Goal. Kane Taylor to David Grant. Well, Grant would have been better off running that over. Well, that wasn't good play by Grant. That's a free Bruce kick. Sure. Oh. Could have been a free kick. Really? How is that? No. Heaver on the left foot. Around the corner, he's kicked a great goal. The Dean Anderson, a long kick to the pocket. Oh, good mark. Good use of the body. Craig O'Brien, he just lit. Oh, he's playing on. This is good play. Around the corner he goes. I think he's got this. Great goal. Receiving from Peter Dean. And Christo, a booming kick. Grant at the back. No mark. Kane Taylor. Clever play. Back towards the boundary line. Spalding goes to ground. And a free kick to Spalding swoop. ducked into that. Spalding gets a free kick at half forward. Now, Spalding. Oh, this might be a goal. Oh, have a look at that. A miraculous goal. I think it's going to be Carlton's day, all right. Vitovic. McKay rides Sexton, he's her own player, and then gets it towards Sporting oh, well done. Heaver, normally a sharpshooter, and kicks the goal, does he? Yes, he does. On to Gleeson, Gleeson to Kernahan, thumped away. Now it's taken by Lappin, or socket in midair by Hogg. No mark, Kernahan, cleverly, Mitchell stabs it low and puts it through for a goal, and difficult for St Kilda now. Damon Shaw, Robert Harvey, oh. too slow, dropping it, holding the ball. Williams to Bond. Bond gives it to Fraser Brown. Brown across to Mitchell. Mitchell to Kernahan. Kernahan races in the goal and puts it through for goal number three. Just who goes with a long one. Beautiful kick, two to the half forward line. Bond couldn't mark, but look at Williams sneaking across the back. Plays on because he saw Kernahan one out. Kernahan with his name written all over it, but he stabs it through for his fifth goal. He's really tried hard as he brings it to the centre of the ground. Frawley and Justin Madden. Fraser Brown. He uh, had Cook out wide. Oh, Williams, brilliant. Something good should happen from here. It does. He's a wonderful player. And, Don Scott, we saw the Blues at their best in that final term as we look at the match statistics. Yes, and it was interesting, Bruce, when we looked at half-time that uh, Carlton really did hold the dominance out of the centre, but St Kilda at least made that up. But uh, the Blues that were just too good today, they controlled it around the, the back line. They're very, very solid. Their midfield really did well, and their forwards capitalised. And uh, handballs, it's interesting there, just gleaning through those. At 142 handballs to 77, they certainly did, you know, control the game position-wise. Yeah, a lot more of the football for Carlton. What about, from St Kilda's point of view, some of their young players that have only played a handful of games? Well, last week, obviously, they came in with great expectations. Scan uh, Els was very disappointed. You could see that when he was addressing the players at the breaks. But uh, young fellows, Carr, who, came, who did well last week, Wakeland did well, Jones, Bardsley and Lappin did well last week. But it was only Carr, I suppose, and he was playing around midfield who did well. Jones was on the bench, on and off. Uh, Bardsley really didn't have much of an influence. Wakeland's a bit too small for centre-half forward and Lappin came on, did a couple of good things, but it's hard for those young fellows to maintain. And from Carlton's point of view, the, their traditional small men, Williams and Bradley and Gleeson and, and Mitchell was good today. and, and again. A weak link, no. Bruce. And their defence, which uh, was unheralded a little today because they didn't have a lot to do. Well, their defence is very good. You've got Silvani who concentrates well. You've got Sexton, who is a bit of a nullifier. You've got Christo, who really does give them run. Now, um, McKay's getting a job. He picked up Winmar today on occasions. Uh, and you've got Dean, who really gives them some bite. Do you think Christo will be rubbed out for that report? 
Well, I probably think he will be if the tribunal's consistent, but he shouldn't be. He shouldn't have been reported. He was reported for allegedly uh, tripping a car in the second term, wasn't he? So that was uh, one of the incidents out of this game today, but they were pretty impressive in the end, I thought, Carlton. 80-point winners over St Kilda at Princess Park. In the end, it was 22-13 to 10-5. Hey, Bruce, so Carlton continue to gather momentum, looking pretty good halfway through the season. I'll be back after the break with highlights from Waverley in the match between Hawthorne and Fitzroy. That's what I like.